What are all these new options? Participants, moderation activity, outdoor chat. Hello, guys. Snapchat, live chat, fan funding, super chats, super stickers, channel memberships, gifting. This is all new to me. And there's a little heart now. Oh, there's emojis and stuff. Okay, so that's cute. Oh, Mr. Hero over 3,000. Hi. This is cute. I like that. How's everybody doing? It's really late. I know. But I just wanted to jump on for a little. Just to say hi. I have a marker. You guys want to see how Blake drew me tonight? So funny. If you guys are wondering, he has been improving in his behavior. He does have his days, but he's doing much better. Bedtime is still a hard time. He stopped wetting the bed, which he was doing every night for about two weeks or a little over that. He stopped doing that. Mm. But bedtime is still hard. Like, he still wants to keep playing. He's still, like, they literally fell asleep, like, 20 minutes ago. Because he just doesn't let Noah, he doesn't leave Noah alone. He starts pushing him, bumping him. Like, whatever he can do to keep him awake, he tries. So then Noah's constantly walking out of the room, like, Mommy, Blake is bothering me. Blake is hitting me. It's, like, a two-hour thing. So this is how he drew me. <laughs> I was like, why do I look sad and why do I only have four little hairs? But that's really good because in school they do this thing, in pre-K they do this thing called play planning. And it's every morning they sit down and they basically learn how to draw a person, like a stick figure. Um, and then they had to write a little message. Today, I am going to the park. Today, I am going. They're not, they're obviously not, they're not expected to, like, write the words. But the teacher will guide them today. So for every word, they're going to make a line. And it shows them, like, the separation and words and the sentence and all of that. So while he was drawing that, it's so cute. He was like, for the head, you go around, close. For the body, you go up, down, across. And then he, for the eyes, it's so cute how he's learning. Because in the beginning of September, he couldn't even do this. So I'm so proud of him. I think it was a whole transition into pre-K. Even though he was in daycare since he's been like, what, six, nine months old, but it's not the same. Oh. It's not the same as like having to follow 
directions from his teacher and having to learn how to write things and draw things. Is it your youngest or oldest son who is, it was my youngest, he was. I think he's also, he was scared of getting up in the middle of the night, like if he had to, because even to like go to bed, he does not want to be go to bed if Noah's not with him. Like he's so used to always having Noah with him that if I had Noah doing homework till late because he had to go to Taekwondo. Oh, oh, oh a little tired because they also went to bed late. <laughs> and I've been like back and forth with them till recently. But Noah was in Taekwondo till pretty late because we got out of work. And then after that he went and um, so we had to do homework after that, <clears throat> and we were up late, so by 8 o'clock, they're usually in bed, but no, I was still doing homework at 8, so I was like, Blakey, go brush your teeth and go to bed, and he would brush his teeth and come in the kitchen and just sit with us, and I was like, you need to go to bed, and he just wouldn't go to bed, and I know it's because Noah wasn't with him. As soon as Noah left, he was out with him, too. <clears throat> How are you guys? Anything new? How oh, nice. <laughs> Are any of you guys Bad Bunny fans? Because I am. And today he announced his tour. So everybody had to sign up for a pre-sale. And I think the pre-sale starts for this area. It's going to be October 25th. So I'm excited because I've been to his last few tours and they've been so good. Hello guys, there's 10 of you in here and nobody's really talking. Hi, yes, finally catch live. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm just sitting here, almost falling asleep now. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get on. And then I wasn't expecting the kids to just not sleep till almost 10 o'clock. So we had, again, a stomach bug last weekend. Um, and it was just so bad. Like, my mom doesn't really take my kids because they're a handful. I mean, Noah is so easy, but Blake is a handful. But them together with the fighting and the, oh, I play rough. My mom, like, rarely takes them together. But that day she offered on Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, she was like, I'm going to take the kids for the day. And I was like, please, because my boyfriend was, like, so sick and so was I. Not a good time. But the whole weekend, we just spent it laying down, watching movies. When my mom took them on Sunday, we watched two Harry Potter movies. So that was that. That was an eventful weekend. Have you ever been to the Pumpkin Patch Festival? Oh, I see the little hearts. Um... Not a festival, but we went to 
like two weekends ago, we went to a farm. And, <laughs> aw, you guys are so cute. Did you guys just discover this too? Is it brand new? Because I really like it. It's really cute. The little hearts. Um, I took them to the farm. Let me see if I can show you pictures. They had so much fun. <laughs> oh, I think I did show you guys pictures. Flaky. And then Leia. This is some flowers. Oh, the little bear. They had so much fun. The boys went on. It's not a pony, but these look like actual horses. That was Noah. <laughs> that was so exciting for them. They had never been on one. That's my boyfriend helping Blake get off of one. <laughs> That's the most we'll see of him. Let me see if there's another one. <laughs> yeah. There's that. Blake had so much fun. They were exhausted when we got out. We bought um, apple cider donuts. We bought apple cider. I bought popcorn that had like pumpkin spice caramel all over it and graham crackers in it. It was so good. I am good. That's good to hear, Lisa. Hi, the dummies. <laughs> How are you? Hi, a beholder. Hello. What else? Look at this picture. So I discovered that Leia is scared of dinosaurs, like the little dinosaurs that Blake has around the house. Look at that face. <laughs> she is just so adorable, the way that she was just staring at it. Oh my goodness, I just want to squeeze her. And then last week it was multicultural day. So I had I had her wear like a little white dress with a Dominican bow and a Puerto Rican bow. I had to zoom in on the picture, but you can't really see the bow. They took a picture of her like this. This is not like the best picture. She's like, Mer. She's a little sick. That's her with her little bows. But then, one of my best friends, she's from Mexico. She went to Mexico and bought, she went to Mexico like two months ago. She bought herself like a traditional Mexican dress and then one for Leah to match. And I'm like, uh, where's the mom? <laughs> But I just let her have fun with that. It's so adorable. She's always buying Leia stuff every time she goes out of the country. So cute. Hi, Carmen. How are you doing? Hi, Evelyn. I'm good. How are you? So 
in about two weeks. Let's see what day is it today? Eh, kind of, sort of. In about two weeks, we'll be going to Puerto Rico again, and I'm so excited. Because the first time we all went, I was pregnant with Leia, but the boys loved it. They loved the time at the beach. It was so much fun for them. And it was like a good getaway. It was so hot, but I loved it. But now I'm a little worried because I've been stalking the weather and it just shows rain, rain, rain. Look how beautiful, like these sunsets were. Every night, like we were at the beach, we went exploring to a model. <laughs> the cutest pictures. I got so sunburnt, I wasn't even trying. These boys. It was so fun, but yeah, I'm nervous about it raining. So I hope that's not the case. My boys are so small now that I look at this. Noah has grown so much. He was so tiny here. <laughs> they got so big. But yeah, we're going off. For, we're going for about five days, so that should be good. Let me see the weather so far, how it's looking now. Mm, for the next week, it's just rain and thunder. Ah! Hopefully it gets better, but it's so hot. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's 87, 88, which I freaking love. I can't wait. Hey, I saw you, the dummies. Dummies? Dummies? <laughs> you guys are awfully quiet tonight. Have you, any of you been to Puerto Rico recently? Or have any of you traveled during the month of November? And if you have gone, what should we do? Even though last time I feel like I loved just staying, we stayed by Isla Verde and we did go to Piñones, which is where they have like these kiosks where you eat food and stuff and there's music we like that i liked eating food at the beach too and every night it was just so fun like all the locals would come to the beach and they would barbecue and we would just be like on the side where we were all day and we would just watch them like have fun like i even spoke to a few of them like asking them like where should we eat and stuff and they were so nice very sweet This chat is so quiet. No, I have never been there. It's so beautiful, Lisa. I feel like if I were to go again, I would try to go in like May. I went towards the end of June last year. Yeah, it was last year. What? That was not last year. What am I saying? Yeah, it was. It feels like a lifetime ago. Oh my god. Um, we went towards the end of June. It was almost July, and it was so hot, which I loved, but I did burn. Nah, I would go back in June. I loved it. 
Nice. So how many kids do you have? I have three. I have two boys and a baby girl. Hi, Macy. I have, these are a lot of new names that I have not seen. Lisa I've seen. But everybody else seems to me. Evelyn? I feel like I've seen. Melly. Hi, Melly. Melly is in a lot of my chats. A lot of my lives. Hey, it's been a while. I've been going through crazy stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear. I hope everything turns out well. If you want to comment, leave me a message. You can. I like answering a lot of you guys. It's, it's nice being able to connect to you guys. Let me see if I have some comments from the last one. I feel like a lot of people are commenting again on my on my breakup video. <clears throat> yeah, I see the comments on my last one. Uh I hope you find someone this is on like my first on my breakup video. I hope you find someone that will love you wholeheartedly. I went through the same thing and just go and find yourself. I feel like that was like the best thing I could do. Sometimes I feel like that was the best thing that could have happened to me. But at the same time, I feel like I'm being selfish for my kids. But the fact that I was forced to become independent and just fend for myself, it made me... It definitely made me into a stronger person than I was three years ago. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. Congrats on your new man and baby girl. Great job. Hi, Sydney. Where are all you guys coming from? I'm excited that there's new people on the chat, but... There's a lot of new people. <laughs> How is your baby girl, Carmen? She's doing good. She's sleeping right over there. She fell asleep pretty late, too. I would love to go somewhere else than here in Canada over cold winter. Ugh, I know. Yes, I have been on your live but never said anything. Aw, why not? You can talk. I'm not going to let anybody bully you. Hi, Carmen. Kiki. Kiki always comments. It's always a pleasure seeing you and listening to you. You have a beautiful family. I've always believed that the bio parents should do the discipline. But seeing that your guy's involved and has shown you that he cares about the boys, I think it might be a good idea to let him be a dad, too. Little Blakey when he needs to be talked to. I feel like he does need like the. He definitely needs like the father figure. To like guide him. He is like obsessed with him. My boyfriend's obsessed with Blake. Blake is obsessed with him. Like today. He made. cup Yesterday actually. He made cupcakes for Blake to take to school. And Blake today was so excited. He was like, my daddy, me and my daddy made this. And like right after nap time, usually when we take sweets to school, they're given to the children right after nap time. So as soon as he woke up, he like, at this age, they're already learning how to take out their um, sheet off of their cot. They're putting it in their book bags on their own. And I saw him like doing it all by himself really quick. And he was like, I made cupcakes with my daddy. He was super excited about his cupcakes. They made like spooky cupcakes. They were really cute. I'm not a baker. I don't like the kitchen. I don't like cooking. But if I have to, like I do. And I do have my moments where I'll have like a whole week or two weeks where I just want to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but 
it gets so tiring with the kids and work. I live in Utah and it's not cold here. Lucky me. It's starting to get cold here. Like, we're hitting the days where in the morning it's chilly, but then by the afternoon it's like 68, 69. And then at, by 6 p.m. it's a back down to like 50s. So we don't really know what to wear. Everybody's sick. There's congestion everywhere because... In the morning, you got to bundle up, but in the afternoon, you got to take everything off. But then at 6 p.m., you got to put everything back on. It's I already wanted to get a little chillier so we can finally put our coats on and stuff. And we're not going back and forth with what do we wear. I really don't even know how to dress her sometimes. I'm like, it's going to be too hot for what I'm putting on now. But then when we leave work, it's freezing again. So... It's like all over the place. Yes, they are. They all go to bed at the same time. They were supposed to be in bed by 8, but that didn't happen. Let's see. I love my Puerto Rico pictures. So cute. Oh my goodness. Noah was so tiny. Look at that. He was puny. He's so big now. And he's doing math. And writing sentences. And reading all this stuff. It's so crazy. Let me see if I got more comments since you guys want to be so quiet on the chat. <laughs> since I see a lot of new names, you guys have questions for me? I don't mind answering. It's crazy how at one point, like, so many people were saying this to me that I was like, maybe, but I feel like this is just a way of taking responsibility off the person from what they did. So this comment said, she was into witchcraft and he was captured by it too. I think he needed an exorcism. I know it sounds insane, but it's a thing. He will regret it someday when his mind clears, but you don't need his influence in your life. Nah, I just feel like he did what he did, and he just never took responsibility for his fuck-ups. Hi, 210 Victoria. What's up? Thanks for the little heart, guys. They're really cute. I like this. <laughs> you guys are awfully quiet. It makes me feel a little... Aww. Where are you guys on everything that's happening in Palestine and Israel? I hate to take it there, but because of where I live, there's a lot of Palestinians and they're like really feeling it. My boss is actually Palestinian and I work with three or four other women that are also Palestinian and it's really hitting them hard. Like, one of them has her husband, actually, 
in Palestine right now. And he cannot come back home. And she's like on her phone constantly. He's always sending her videos and messages. And she's just in a constant state of like being worried. And it's just a lot going on. I've been trying to, okay, so I'm the type of person that will, like, if something's going on in the world, I will look at all these videos. You know, it's everywhere, Instagram, TikTok, you just can't get away from it. I don't watch TV because during COVID, COVID, I wasn't working, nobody was working, of course. So I would literally sit there every single day with my kids. Noah would be playing in the living room. I would be carrying Blake, playing with him the entire day. But that TV was always on till like 6 p.m. From like 11 to 6 p.m. I could not. I don't know if I was the only one or it was because we were locked in. But I could not stop watching the news. And all I remember is every day how there were countdowns of people dying and the cases rising and it was just like a constant feed of this information that was obviously negative, but it was facts, like real things that were happening in our world. So I feel like ever since that, like the year after that, I was just like, I'm not going to watch TV anymore. And I, I really do not watch TV unless I'm sick and we're watching Netflix or something. But I won't sit there and watch the news or anything, but this is something you just cannot avoid. And my boss was like constantly sending me stuff. And the other day I was like, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't watched the videos you're sending me because it's so much for me mentally. I'm the type of person that will lay in bed and just think about this over and over and over and like the other day, the day after I told her this, the first thing I see, I was scrolling and I wasn't even trying to look for anything. But one thing popped up and the first thing that I saw was a baby being pulled out of a rubble. And I don't think that baby was alive. And unfortunately, this is the crazy reality that these people are living. And everybody's just acting like it's not happening and I know it's just so hard it's hard for me to see things like that but it def I see why everyone's posting because it definitely needs to be out in the open and everybody needs to see what's really happening and we are blessed it's it's crazy how my baby gets to sleep at her bed and be peaceful while all these other babies are living in hell. It's so sad. It's fucking scary for me. It literally made me cry because what, what if it was us? Yeah. Hello, Carmen. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Blink. Hi, Carmen. Did you and your family move the sunny move? The sunny hot Florida? No, we did not move to Florida. We're still in New Jersey. We are truly blessed. We are blessed. I don't know what it's going to take for it to stop. And I keep seeing, like, all these politicians. Like, I literally just saw something, and I was like, that's not going to help at all with what's going on. Like, I don't get it. I don't like to get into politics and any of that, but from what I see, it says Biden says tomorrow he will request an unprecedented aid package for both Israel and Ukraine amid their wars against Hamas and Russia. I just don't get it. 
so crazy. And um, my boss actually saw a billboard that was promoting violence against Palestinians. It was on a major highway, kind of close to where her kids go to school. Her children go to an all Muslim school. And she, like, when she came from her lunch break, she just looked like she was in fear so she literally called the cops and asked me to call them too to see if something could be done about this massive billboard that was up and by the time i called they were like yeah we're getting so many phone calls about this billboard we're working on getting it down but it's just crazy like all the hate that is going around after that, she had to call her kids' school, and she was calling the police in her neighborhood to see if they can heighten security because she felt like her kids could be a danger because of the hate that was being promoted in that billboard. I'm not even going to say what was on it because it was just horrible. But I can't believe this was up on a major highway. And that is horrible. Hello, Araceli. <laughs> but yes. Have you guys gone on another note? Let's switch it up a little because it got a little heavy. Did you guys go pumpkin picking already? We haven't carved. I don't think we're going to carve. My boyfriend doesn't have any weekends left in this month together. So oh, I don't think we're going to carve any pumpkins. But um, we will be trick-or-treating. We all have our Halloween costumes ready. He's going to be Darth Vader, of course. Leia's going to be Princess Leia. We're going to do... Me and the boys are all going to be Stormtroopers. Not into... Um, Star Wars. Sorry if you guys are. But I just can't get into it. My boyfriend has shown me like two, three movies and I just... I cannot... Um, well, that's what we're doing this year. Leia's little buns look so cute. I can't wait for her to wear it. You should do pumpkin painting. It's easier. I think I'm going to do that. They're going to, for Halloween, um, where the kids do a little parade at school. They do trunk or treat. And then they pick some pumpkins. I'm actually supposed to go pick up the pumpkins with my boss next week. We're picking up almost 100 pumpkins, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> a family friend just got sent to Israel. He's a Marine. Oh, my goodness. William T. Hello, Ms. Carmen, everyone on this platform. Hi. Hi, Carmen. Hope you and your family are doing well. Hi, Yvonne. Cute, my PG costume for work is Nani from Lila and Stitch, her sister. Aw. We took my kids to SeaWorld this past Sunday, and the weather was wonderful. Nice. In Florida? I booked my trip. I know... I mentioned how I've had issues with both Leia and Noah's passport. It took 
six months for me to receive Noah's passport. And that was after applying a second time, paying everything all over again, paying for it to be expedited. Like, it was just insane. Then I had to call them and be like, I'm leaving on a trip soon. I need his passport. So they sent it even faster. Um, so I booked my trip. And then a day later, I received his passport. If I would have received it earlier, I would have booked a trip to Punta Cana. But by the time I received it, everything, like prices for flights were insane. They were almost $1,000 per person, per flight. Like, it wasn't even a round trip per person. It was 1000 to go, 1000 to come back per person. So I was not about to do that. But I think that's going to be our next big trip, Dominican Republic. In San Antonio, Texas. Oh, I didn't know there was one over there. What we have here is Six Flags. Oh. Sorry. We have Six Flags, and that's about it. <laughs> um, Dorney Park is in Pennsylvania. So it's Sesame Place. So we got to drive pretty far to get to the fun places around here. I love your nail color, by the way. Thank you. I'm about to do them on Saturday because I don't know if you can tell, but this one's cracked all the way down here. I'm surprised it hasn't already, like, blown off. These are actually my nails. I put this gel. I asked them to put this gel. It's called rubber gel or something. And it's supposed to, like, make them a bit stronger. And then they put the regular gel, gel, gel color over it. But yeah, they look pretty. I like this color, but I'm cutting them. Hey, Carmen, did you go to American Dream Mall on August 19th? I think I saw you. August 19th. How would you know that date specifically? Let me see what I was up to August 19th. In the summer, I was there. I've been there a few times. You think you saw me? It was my daughter's B day. Who were you? I mean, who was I with? Let me see. I usually go off of my pictures because I take pictures of Leah like every single day. Uh, I'm a Leia bear. Was it a weekend? Because if it was a weekend, it's possible. But if it wasn't a weekend, then no, I was not there. Mm. <gasps> I was there! That's crazy! You saw me walking or I was driving? Ah! I was there because I took pictures of this high chair at the Baby Sarah store. So you spotted me driving? That's crazy. Oh my God. I took a picture of this little high chair that I want for Leah. That is so crazy. Uh, I can't believe it. I can't believe you noticed me driving. Was I crazy that I cut you off? <laughs> because I basically just got my, I, I mean, I got my license last year, June, but I literally, like, I did not have any practice. I wound up getting my license last year. Didn't really practice. I drove maybe like two or three times because my mom is always working. And when she was available, it was to go pick us up at the school. And 
it was just always a quick thing. She would pick us up, drop us off, and she always had to do something. Um, so I didn't get a chance to practice driving. And then next year, the following year, it was May, and I'm like, I need to drive because winter's going to come, and it's going to start raining and snowing, and then I can't be walking with three kids. So... I bought my car basically June 1st, and I started driving, like, because I had to. It, I had no other choice. I was like, if I'm going to start driving, I'm going to get a car. I'm going to push myself to do it. So I have a few months just driving, but I've been all over the place. I go to, I went to the beach all the time. Oh, yeah. My, hi, Juan Carlos. I remember you. My daughter, Godfather, was looking for parking. I was in the back, and I recognized you. I wanted to say hi, but I couldn't after we parked. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Just want to put, like, a face to the name. This is so crazy. Do you live in Jersey? 39. Aw. I friggin' hate it. I think I, we were parked on, like, the lower level. Yeah, I was alone with the kids. I feel like every time I go to a mall, I'm alone with the kids. And I just, it's too much. Too much going on. The parking is insane. To get out of there is insane. No, you're from the Bronx? That's insane. And then I'm always at the Bronx Zoo. Always. <laughs> I think the week, the day after, actually. I have it here on my phone. Because I took a picture of that high chair. And then my next picture is the day after. And I was at the zoo with the kids at the Bronx Zoo. So crazy. You should have said hi. I know you said you couldn't after you parked. But I remember that day. It took me forever to find parking. And to get out, it was even worse. But there's another mall in the area that is a bit closer to me. But parking is like $10 after like an hour or two. And then like an hour, two or three hours is like over $20, $30. It's too much. My daughter wanted to go to the Nickelodeon Park. I've seen prices for that, and it seems pretty expensive. But for her birthday, I'm pretty sure she had fun. How was that? Just join. Where are you going? We're going to Puerto Rico in about two and a half weeks. Hope you have been well, South Jersey. Go Eagles. How is it driving in the snow? We still haven't had snow, and I'm scared of the thought of that. Um, I live very close to the Bronx Zoo. It's walking distance to me. What? We have a membership, and we, in the summer we were there ev like every other weekend. I'm so like, have you been to the Bronx Zoo during Halloween? I know they have stuff going on at night. I wonder if they have something going on tomorrow. But I believe even though you're a member, you have to pay more. Sunday, October 22nd is a sold-out blackout day for the Bronx Zoo. What? Why? I wonder. I wonder why. Nighttime family fun. Pumpkin nights. Halloween tradition returns. Boo at the zoo. So cute. The family tradition returns. Holiday lights. I'm in like shocked that I was recognized and I was driving. It's not like I was just walking at the mall. You didn't see me after that. It was just while we were driving. Thursday through Sunday, 6 to 10 p.m. Gates open at 6 p.m. Pumpkin Nitros open at 6.30. 
Let's see. How much are these tickets? Eh, I don't have my wallet on me, but I'll look at it later. That's crazy. Paying for parking here in the valley, it's still free. Only pay if you're parked downtown. Like at the mall, we pay to go to the mall. We pay to be parked in the parking lot at the mall. <laughs> so when I go to the other mall, I'm like rushing because sometimes I go to the mall and I do not find anything. And then I got to go out and pay $20, $25 for nothing. I want to go to the Christmas events they have. It's so cold for me. <laughs> no, you were looking for parking and tried to find you, but I couldn't. That is insane. It was my first time at the mall. What did you think of it? Was it a lot of people, a lot for you? That day it was really busy because I just could not find parking. And they feel like the two lots were closed or the first lot was completely closed. Been following you for a while, getting more popular. Real bougie. Now I've got commercials and everything. You can just like when you're about to go on a live, it'll ask you if you want ads or whatever. Were you the one who was having, like, something going on with their ex? I feel like I remember you commenting. Juan. I loved it. My daughter was so happy. My kids love going there, but sometimes, well, most of the time, it's too much for me. Like, it gets intense in there. And I feel it because there's just so many people and so much going on that I just, I cannot look at what's going inside the store, what's going on inside the stores. Like, for example, Zara, if I try to go to Zara, it's insane. The lines, I mean, at any Zara, the lines are insane, but it's just too much. Like, if I go, I think I have to go, like, on the Tuesday or Wednesday when there's nobody, and I just can't do that because I'm at work. Are you guys getting too many ads? Because I can take that off, I think. Mm, you gotta go. Take care. Bye, Blink. I'm gonna be on for like another 10 minutes and that's it. How old is your daughter? May. It's so funny to me how you remember the day and everything. She is 10. Aww. My birthday is actually August 16th. I've thought about going to the water park there, but it's just... So much money and I'm like is this shit worth it is there food in there like in the actual Nickelodeon area or you gotta go out and go to the food courts and stuff Cardi B is always there Cardi B is always at the mall I think she was just there last week she's always at the Nickelodeon or the water park Oops, then I need to put the hundreds. <laughs> I don't think so, just snacks, I think. 
If that's the case, I bring my own snacks. This place is already expensive. If you guys are listening and paying attention, click on the little hearts. I just want to see. Are you guys here? Click on the little heart. Can you click, can you see the little heart and like emojis on your phone? I haven't been on this on my phone in a long time. I always do it on my laptop. The image looks better on my phone, but I feel like I can't read the comments from there. Ah, I see it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yes, you actually helped me feel better when I was going through a hard time and you was right. She regretted leaving, she came back and when she noticed I was out, but now we just co-parent. Oh, that's good. Were you able to get over it? Feel like working on yourself and having like no contact, even though it's the hardest thing when you have kids. Like, just keeping your personal stuff away from, like, having to just co-parent is hard. And I don't know if I would have been able to get over him if he just, if he was still around. I feel like, though... Like, towards the last few times that I saw him and he came to see the kids, I was so at peace with myself. And at that point, I just wanted to, I literally told him so many times, like, I'm cool being friends. Like, um, we don't even have to be, like, weird about co-parenting. Like, I was willing to be so cool as a friend and just, you do you, I'm going to do me. Let's deal with this in the best way possible for the children. But that wasn't the case. I feel like he felt like I still wanted something because because why just, I mean, one, he disappeared because he didn't want to be responsible for what he did and responsible for his children but at the end like karma bites you in the ass he wound up they wound up taking his car i think his license is fucked up he lost his job he was arrested like so much happened that could have been avoided because he just took dumbass decisions after the breakup. I don't know. And I just never heard from him ever again. Hopefully I can see you again and say hi. Are you able to co-parent with your ex? Nope. I don't know if you've been following like my story completely. But no, like he stopped the last time he saw them. I'm so confused with the dates because a lot of it was like I was in a state of like a blur when everything was happening. So he left. I found out everything at the end of August. He left by September. He saw them on and off for the remaining of that year. And then the following year, he was again on and off. Like, it was a few times a month that he would see them. Is it that? Is it? I'm so, I'm like really confused about my timeline now. I just know that the last time, I actually wrote down every time he would come see them. I didn't write the year, but I was like, I feel like the courts are going to want to see when he came.
It's so sad. Like, he left officially in September. So I put September 19th, he visited. Then after that, it was October 4th. And after that, it was October 8th. And then I started putting, like, the time. On October 8th, he visited them for 10 minutes. On the 10th, he took them for the day. On the 11th, he visited them for 20 minutes. On the 19th, he came for an hour. Noah was sleeping, so he didn't see him at all. That's literally how it went. On December 6th, he took them all day. January 8th, all day. So I put here December of 2021. It's been over a year. At this point, it's been more than that. So yeah, since then, he hasn't seen the kids. And then after that, it like snowballed into other things, like him taking his... Me finding out that he kept telling me, oh, I'm going to move to PA, I'm going to move to PA, I have to work, I'm working in PA. So I'm doing a lot of life changes. <coughs> My throat's getting dry. I'm having a lot of life changes. I'm moving out of state, blah, blah, blah. And this whole time, I'm like, I honestly did not believe it, but I was going with it. I was like, okay, so how are you going to see the kids? And then he disappears. Actually, after December, he did. He disappeared. But he would come back every now and then. And I remember him coming back around May or June. And I was like, what the fuck are you going to do about your kids? Like, you're not seeing them. You're not, you're not in their lives. And then... Noah graduated pre-K. This was actually there we go. Twenty twenty one, I believe. It just feels like a lifetime ago, and it's crazy how fast time flies. And he's just missed so much in this baby's lives. So, Noah graduated in June of 2022. By that point, he was completely MIA. I think the last time we saw him was February when I found out that he was having a child. Or so we believe. We don't know what really happened at the end of the day. We don't know if he did have a kid, if that was just another lie. No clue. Um, and then after him going radio silent, I had a feeling he was at his mom's house, which was not that far. It was literally like a five minute walk from our house. I come to find out he was living at his mom's house for over a month or two. During that time, he did not see the kids. He did not call for them completely MIA. I come to find out that he was taking money from his mom. He was lying to her, saying that I was giving him issues that I didn't want to let him see the kids when he never tried to even call to see them. After that, I found out that he was fired from his job, didn't know why. But when I finally start getting child support, I start seeing like court mail and then I'm like, what the hell is happening? Then I finally received a court mail a few weeks ago, I think in the beginning of September, and I find out that he was arrested. Like, it's just, like, you flipped your world upside down because you felt like it. Like, this is what you wanted, and these were your choices. 
And then my life completely changed. I was left a single mother with two kids and I didn't work. I didn't have a car. And I had to do all of these things on my own. And it was really hard. But I learned how to be independent, how to be there for my children. And it definitely made me into a stronger person. I'm happy you found someone that truly loves you. I remember how much you suffered. Yeah. He, I love him so much. But I always, like, I said this before, like, in the back of my mind, I know it's fucked up to say, but because of what I went through and the betrayal that I went through, and I've said this to him too, like, it's hard for me to trust. And he has gone through his fair share of betrayal. And I can see like the way that we behave with each other sometimes. You can see how other relationships like fuck you up when you are going through it with someone else. And he's so understanding. And at first he was very headstrong and he's, he has a really strong personality and I'm very mellow, but I feel like the, in the time that we've been together and maybe Leia has been a big part of this, he has softened up so much and I'm loving life right now. I did, and I found myself still a, a part of my kid's life that won't ever change, but I'm truly at peace now and feel like I'm even better parent now. I'm 30 years old. I know I'll find the right one. You absolutely will. I'm so happy you were able to find yourself and you feel so much better because I remember how hurt you felt. Are you going to stream while you're in Puerto Rico? I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. I most likely won't. What type of work does your new man do? He has two jobs. He works in a cardiologist in one, and then the other one, I'm going to keep private for him. <laughs> But he's working right now, comes home a little later during the holiday season. But he has good benefits, and I feel like they're not so crazy on him. Like, some jobs can be, like, if you're sick and they're like, why are you calling out, blah, blah, blah. No. If he's calling out, there are no questions asked. It is what it is. And I kind of like that for him. I, I don't think I'm going to stream while in Puerto Rico. I love being at the beach all day and just chilling, being at peace, and then watching the sunset, spending time with the kids, letting them run out, do whatever they want outdoors, especially since it's probably going to be so cold here. Hopefully, like I said, it's not rainy. Ooh. You gotta go. Take care, Carmen. Bye, May. You made my night. <laughs> if you ever bump into me, say hi. That was like the coolest thing ever. I can't believe, I really cannot believe she recognized me by me driving in my car. <laughs> I wouldn't think that's like the first encounter with someone who watches me on YouTube. Yeah, guys, I think I'm also going to bed soon. It's pretty late. It's almost 11. I'll see you guys soon. And I think I'm going to stream 
Not tomorrow. Maybe during the weekend if I have time, I'll try. If not, definitely next week I'll be on. See you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, Lisa. Bye, guys.